Brook Scholars. This is the way. Hey, we start our day. Hey, we got the knowledge. Yup. To go to college. Yes, but don't stop there. No, go anywhere. Hey, this is the way. Hey, we start our day. Hey, hey, Brook Scholars, where's the party at? It's right here in these books. I know you guys got a ton of books. Hey, bro, scholars, what time is it? It's time to motivate you. Good morning, book scholars, and welcome to Wednesday Word Study. Today is Green Day if you're participating in Rainbow Week. So if you have a green shirt, or green pants, or green shoes, or if you have all of them, send me a picture and I'll be sure to um, pass it along with the Brook Network. And if you have something green around your home, feel free to collect those as well and take a picture with them. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt, okay, friends? Um, I got my green Brook shirt on and I am ready to go because these, this is PMC's college color. So I love it. And this year, it still happens to be Miss Vargas' favorite color. And it's my mom's favorite color. Any hoot. Let's get right into learning. Just like today and yesterday, we are going to practice a simple subject and simple predicate. So let's set up our papers. S dot S. S dot P. Now, finding the simple subject and the simple predicate can be easy. You have to ask yourself, well, one strategy that we can use is, what is the action or the verb happening in the sentence? Once you figure out the action or your verb, you know that that is a simple predicate. Then you can ask yourself, who or what is doing that action? That, who or what, is a simple subject. So. Let's go over, I'm gonna read the sentence twice. You're gonna read it the third time by yourself and write down your simple subject and simple predicate. Remember, never mind, never mind. We're just gonna go right into it. Remember, I mean, don't remember. We're gonna go right into it. All right, so our sentence for today is Alexander. Hi, Alexander. Alexander ran to the ice cream chug. I'm gonna repeat it. Alexander ran to the ice cream chuck. I have the sentence here. Ask yourself, what is the action, simple predicate, verb, and who or what is doing that action? I'm gonna fill this out. Go. Alrighty, friends, I have found my simple subject and my simple predicate. But again, the first thing I did was ask myself, what is the action or the verb in the sentence? And then I asked myself, who or what is doing that action? And therefore, that's my simple subject. So if you are not done, if you're still trying to figure it out, no big deal, pause the video. But if you are done or when you are done, press play and I'll be right here. Alrighty, friends. If you said that this action was ran, I said, oh, yeah, 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 I guess. Mwah. And who was doing the action? No other than the fabulous Alexander. So if you wrote your simple subject is Alexander and your simple predicate is ran, great job. Remember, ran is simply the action. So you do not have to write ran um, to the ice cream truck. Because to is not an action, the is not an action, or, or, or it's not the simple predicate. We're just looking for the one word that is the action. Got it? Got it. Alrighty, friends. Next up, we have grammar. Well, more grammar, I should say, because simple subject and simple predicate are definitely part of our grammar rules. Okay, so today we're going to read a passage and we're going to be going over verbs verbs i like how that sounds verbs what is a verb or 
before I even ask that, what are the two different types of verbs? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you said there is an action verb, there are action verbs and being verbs. I said, I'll give your brain a kiss. Mm -hmm. They are definitely the two types of verbs that we know, action and being. Now, what is an action verb? If you said that an action verb is an action, again, and we know there's tons of actions like blinking, walking, talking, um, typing, looking. These are all action verbs. Now, what are your being verbs? Hopefully, you know your being verbs are is, am, are, was, were, and will be. As I read the passage, I want you to stop and think, are there any being verbs or action verbs in each sentence? Can you identify them? But before we even read the passage, uh, hello, we gotta set up our paper. Verbs. And I'm gonna do 12 lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And friends, if you don't find 12 verbs, but you find eight or you find nine or you find seven or five, that's perfectly fine. As long as you're taking your time and looking sentence by sentence, word by word, and asking yourself, are there verbs in this passage? All right, the longer you list, the more you're noticing. However, don't get too hard on yourself if you don't find the same verbs that I find, okay? All right, so we have our slate set up. I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna read the passage. Listen to me carefully and ask yourself, are there any verbs, actions in this passage? And being verbs, don't forget your being verbs. All righty, friends, here we go. Every evening, Maya and her family would make a campfire. She loved that. She also enjoyed sleeping in a tent each night. Maya wanted to remember everything that happened on her vacation. Whenever she came across a new animal, such as a beaver or a quail, she would draw, hmm, I wonder if drawing is an action, a picture of it in her journal. That is our passage for today. I want you to reread the passage, go sentence by sentence, word by word. Ask yourself, are there any action verbs or being verbs? Alrighty, friends, I have found a ton of verbs. If you have not found a ton of verbs, or if you're not done, I should say, it is okay. 
pause the video, get through the passage, and let's go over it together when you press play. Alrighty, friends, for my friends who are ready, let's go over sentence by sentence. I found 11 verbs. Now, you may not have found as many as I did, but we're going to talk about why in a moment. So let's go sentence by sentence. Sentence number one. Every evening, Maya and her family would make a campfire. So friends, would is a, is a type of verb, but it's a past tense verb. But we haven't learned that yet, so no need to worry about that. If you didn't have would, that's okay. But to make a camp, to make is an action. When you make something, it's an action. Next sentence. She loved that. Loved is an action. To love something, to care for something is an action. Sentence number three. She also enjoyed sleeping in a tent each night. Enjoyed. To enjoy something is an action. Sleeping, we all know is an action. We do it every night. Sentence number four. Maya wanted to remember everything that happened on her vacation. To want is an action. To remember something is also an action. When it says something happened, that is an action. When something happens, it's an action. Next sentence. Whenever she came across a new animal, such as a beaver or a quail, she would draw a picture of it in her new journal. Whenever she came, so whenever you, she came across something. So this came is the action verb. She would draw, so again, would is one of those past tense verbs, but don't worry about that. And to draw is definitely an action. Um, therefore, it is a verb. Remember, verbs are actions or being verbs, which there were no being verbs in this, at least any of the ones that we've learned in the first grade. So hopefully you got a ton of action verbs here on your slate or on your paper. All right, friends, next up, we have dictation. I'm going to say the sentence twice. You are going to say it the third time. We're going to go over our writing habits after because I want to challenge you to be thinking of them as we, as you are writing the sentence and as I am too. All right, friends. The sentence for today is Marvin and Nick rolled the dice on the table. Marvin and Nick rolled the dice on the table. All together, Marvin and Nick rolled the dice on the table. Nine. Go. Look at me stretching out tricky words. Eyes. I have to start over. I forgot a few words. A, a, a oh, table. Alrighty, friends, I am ready. If you are not, it is okay. Feel free to pause the video, and when you press play, we can go over it together. First things first, if you had Marvin and Nick 
rolled the dice on the table. I said, I give your brain a kiss. Mwah. Now let's go over our writing habits. Did you capitalize the first letter in uh, the first word in your sentence? If you capitalize the M in Marvin, great job. Did you have a punctuation mark? More specifically, was it a period? Because I didn't say it in an, ex an exciting voice, or maybe you did, but I said it, I personally said it, and Joe was just saying, Marvin and Nick rolled the dice on the table, so therefore it is a statement sentence, so I put a period. Now let's go over every word. Marvin, definitely not a hard word, so one that you had to stretch out. Mm, R, R control vowel. Mar, N, Marvin. And, hard word, A N D, Nick. Mm, K. Final C K says K. Now, if you spell the N I C or N I K, no big deal. I just know I have a friend named Nick, and I know I've seen the, the name Nick around a lot, so I know this is typically how people spell Nick. Rolled. R-O-L. Roll. D. E-D says D or T, but in this case, it says D. The. T-H-E. Heart word, the. Dice. D. I, the I, this, remember, sometimes C says, it's a soft C, I believe it's called, um, but if you put an S, phonetically, that is correct, so if you put an S, no big deal, it is still correct, and then magic E is making I say its name, dice, but again, I've, I've seen dice in a book, um, and around me when I when I got, went to go buy dice for the classroom. So I know it's spelled D-I-C-E. So for me, this looks right and sounds right. On, O-N, on, heart word, the, heart word, T-H-E, table, T-A, because sometimes A by itself says A, long A, bull, B, U, L, E says U, table. Again, it looks right and sounds right. Now, if you wrote a b u something like this, phonetically it's it look phonetically it sounds right, but does it look right? Mm, not really. Actually, not at all, because I know that this. The first way I wrote it is how it looks right and sounds right. Last but not least, are there any proper nouns? Other proper nouns other than Marvin. If you capitalize the N in Nick, because Nick is a name, therefore it's a proper noun, therefore it should be capitalized. I said I'll give your brain a kiss. Mwah. Awesome, awesome job, friends. You all have been doing amazing, and I cannot wait to see your work later on. So I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.